topic is triangles triangles means tri means three therefore triangles means three angles this is a shape of three sides as you can see in the picture so what is triangles now so shape with three sides three vertices and three angles are called triangles three sides as you can see ab bc and ac are three sides of given triangle three vertices as you can see a b and c are three vertices three angles so angle a b c b c a and angle c a b types of triangles according to sides triangles are of three types first one is equilateral then isosceles and then scalene triangle according to angles again triangles are of three types first one is acute angle then right angle and then obtuse angle let us discuss this topic in detail types of triangles according to sides now the first one is equilateral now what is equilateral triangle the triangle whose three sides are equal as you can see abc is a equilateral triangle isosceles triangle now what is isosceles triangle in isosceles the two sides of triangle are of same length as you can see in the picture the side xy and xz are of same length scalene triangle in this triangle all the three sides are of different lengths so pqr is a scalene triangle types of triangle according to angles first one is acute angle triangle in this angle all the three angles are less than 90 degree next is right angled triangle in this triangle 1 degree is always be 90 obtuse angle triangle in this angle one angle is more than 90 degree as you can see pqr is a obtuse angled triangle properties of triangle first property is sum of three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree as you can see in the picture angle a angle b and angle c are angle a angle b and angle c the sum of these three angles must be 180 degree properties of second properties of the triangle is sum of the three exterior angles you can see the exterior angles here these are exterior angles so the sum of the three exterior angles must be 360 exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angle now you can see the interior angles are exterior angles is angle c this is exterior angle and the interior angle is angle a and angle b so the sum of angle a and angle b must be equals to the exterior angle which is angle c the next rule is the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side it means the sum of any two sides you can take ab or bc the sum of this and this always be greater than the third side you can take bc or ac the sum of bc and ac always be greater than the third side which will be ab you can take some examples and check this at your home as well next one is the side opposite to the largest angle of a triangle is largest side it means if the angles 
if the angle as you can see this is the angle and this is opposite to the largest side that is BC means if an angle which is opposite to the largest side that angle must be the largest angle okay next the side opposite to the smallest angle of a triangle is the smallest side it means if a angle which is of opposite to the smallest side means you can see AB is the smallest side and its opposite angle is this one angle C it means that opposite C will be an uh, angle C will be the smallest angle as it is opposite of angle side AB the next rule is in a right angle triangle the sum of the squares of a perpendicular and base is equal to square of hypotenuse and this is known as Pythagoras theorem this is very important so what is this as you can see this given figure this is right angle triangle and the opposite of this triangle this side is called hypotenuse this is called hypotenuse this is base this is called base and and this is called perpendicular perpendicular this is okay so the rule is ac equals to ac means hypotenuse equals to the sum of hypotenuse equals to square of hypotenuse means h equals to you can write h equals to p that is perpendicular that is perpendicular plus base so the square of perpendicular and base is equals to the square of hypotenuse.